Hi students, this is Miss S with another art project for you. Now, believe it or not, this school year is half over already. And we've done a lot of projects and learned a lot of skills and a lot of techniques so far this year. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to go over uh, the terms that I have introduced in relation to your artwork. I'm going to call it art vocabulary. And we're going to we're going to go over those and we're going to learn some new ones today as well in a couple of lessons. OK. All right. This is today's project. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions about previous terms that we've learned. How about background, middle ground, and foreground? Remember those? Background, middle ground, foreground. How about tinting? That's when we add white to a color and we tint it. Now, we used white and added it to blue to make this look like a valley of snow. You see? And the house is sitting in the valley. And then I also tinted the smoke coming out of the smokestacks. Tint. Actually, if you look at the house, I did a little shading. And that's when we add black to a color. I added black to the color brown to shade the house a little bit. It's hard to see, but when we start painting, I'll show it to you. Also, do you remember the term proportion? Proportion means that things are put as the correct size in relation to what's around it. Now, the house here is perfectly proportioned. It's the perfect size to fit in the valley of snow. It's not too big, not too small. It's just right, that's what proportion is. It looks real. And another term, a new term that we're going to learn today is movement. Now, if you look at the smoke coming out of the smokestacks, this is causing your eye to follow these swirls. They are, look like they're moving. And this is giving us movement in our painting. Okay, again, that is movement. And another term that we're gonna learn is unity. Now, I have a house down here and I have a sky up here with smoke in it. I have united the sky with the house and the foreground by bringing the smoke out of the smokestack and connecting the house and the smoke. That's called unity. We're uniting the bottom of the painting with the top, unity. Okay, like I said, in a couple of lessons, we're gonna go over a lot of these terms and then you can use them in future art, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to do this painting. We're going to start with the dark blue for the sky. Okay, you're going to get dark blue and a big paintbrush. And we're going to paint, uh, we're going to be carefully painting around the swirls or the smoke. You're gonna use the flat edge of the brush to outline the smoke. You see that? We're gonna be very careful when we do that because we don't wanna go over it, the lines. I'm also going to give you two smaller brushes so we can get into the smaller areas. And we're going to, like I said, going to try to stay outside of the smoke lines, okay? And just paint the sky for now. 
Okay. Now, after we paint the entire sky like this, we're gonna let it dry, all right? When it's dry, we're going to tint our dark blue and make kind of a medium blue. I'm going to use that on this particular smoke, this area of smoke here. And we're going to use the small brush because I have a very small area here to paint to show that the smoke is coming out of the house's smokestack. Okay, now do you also notice I'm using the flat edge of the brush so I don't go out of the lines. Does everybody see that? Very important. Okay. Now, I'm going to also get give you some white and I don't have to clean my brush at this point. I'm going to dip it in the white and I'm going to paint another area of smoke, mixing the blue and the white, tinting the blue, that's the right term, while I'm painting. Instead of mixing it, I'll just mix it right on the paper here. And I'm being very careful to stay in the lines of the smoke. We don't want to go into the sky that we've already painted. Okay. There. Also, I'm going to use a small brush again because now I have to come down and have the smoke come out of the smokestack on the house. And that's a very small area. So boys and girls, we're gonna be very careful when we do that. I know you can do it. You've been coming along so well this year in art. I know you can do it. I'm very proud of you all. Your teachers have been sending me your finished artworks and I'm very, very pleased with the way you guys are doing this year in art. Okay, so we're going to tint all five, all four, I'm sorry, all four um, swirlies or smoke like this. Do you see how they're all different? They're tinted all different colors of blue. I added different amounts of white to each swirl, okay? Then we're going to set that aside and let it dry. But before we do that, we're going to take a Q-tip and we're going to make dots, just a few, on the picture in white. Um, these are going to represent stars, not snow, stars. So we only need a few. We don't have to do the entire background. Now, when this is dry, we're going to paint the Valley of Snow. And I'm going to use the white again and leave a little blue on the brush. Now, I haven't cleaned my brush yet, boys and girls, but I'm gonna to try to do this so you can see. The darker area is going to go closest to the lines. So you're going to make it darker blue by the lines. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do, this is going to be a little bit darker here. Then I am going to clean my brush. 
wipe it off and I'm going to go back to my white and then this is going to be a little bit lighter up here. Does everybody see how I did that? And notice how I'm using the side of my brush to make it smooth. Okay. Now, behind the smoke and behind the house is going to be a darker blue. So we're not going to tint it as much. It's not going to be as dark as the sky but it is going to be a little bit darker. I'm not going to cover my house at all. I'm going to leave it alone. And then as I get farther away from the line, I'm going to make it lighter. Everybody understand that? Okay. Remember, Closest to the line is going to be the darkest. Now, down here, there's a line, and that's going to be dark as well. And then as we move away from the house, it becomes lighter, and we tint the blue with more white. Okay? So this is what it's going to look like. See how it looks like? This is going down and it looks like this hill is above this valley. That's because I used color to show that depth. It's called depth, okay? When this is all dry, you're going to paint your house. Now, I did a little shade. I added a little bit of brown and black mixed together, which is shading the brown, right? Do you remember that? And I used a teeny tiny brush this time. I mixed it on a palette. Now we talked about palettes before, or you could just use a piece of paper. And I took a little bit of brown and a little bit of black and I painted the roof and the side of the house. Now the windows are a simple yellow. I would do the windows first before I did the brown and let it dry because it's a lighter color. We always do the lightest colors first when you're doing a light and dark color combination. And then you can also paint the moon this yellow. Okay, now if you notice, I made the roof white to appear like there's snow on the roof. And then the front of the smokestack is the darker brown and the side is a lighter brown. Now we've got one more step. When this is all dry, I'm going to give you some glitter, a blue, and some gold and some silver in a cup. I'm gonna give you a, a little stick or you can use the end of the paintbrush and you can apply it wherever you want. Now, the only two places that I want you to apply the silver and the gold, the gold is going to go onto the moon, all right? And the silver is going to go on your stars. I'm going to kind of make a smiley face out of your stars. You're going to put silver on the white star and then make it look like a smiley face. Two dots for eyes and then a smile. Up here, I made, I just put two smiles, one on, on the top and one on the bottom. Okay, here's another smiley face. I put the blue glitter on this particular smoke coming out of the smoke deck. I put it right here. And if you want, you can put the blue glitter on another part of the smoke. It, that's up to you. I'll let you guys decide how you wanna do that. 
okay? And then you let that dry and you're all done. Here's a project done by my great student. Hope you had fun with this one. And remember now, we're gonna have a review of all of our art vocabulary words in a couple lessons. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.